here in the UK, we've got, got a diverse range of rare and native equines, but the rarest, most critical is the Suffolk with only 500 left in the world. So in today's episode, we're gonna tell you all about the work going on to save this magnificent animal. Now this one is known as Victoria and a very well-known Suffolk breeder called Nigel Oakley, who if you cut him in half, like a stick of rock would have Suffolk written inside. He's Suffolk through and through and is passionate about the Suffolk or Suffolk punch horse as some people call them. And he gifted me Victoria many years ago. She was born in 2001, so she's 22 years old and absolutely gorgeous, really placid, really kind in the eye, still very responsive, although she hasn't worked in harness for many years. If you wanted to back up, you'd have touch her in the chest and go back, go back, go back, go back. That's how you would back them into shafts or to pick up bits of machinery. Really, really gorgeous, lovely, kind mare. And people like Nigel Oakley are thin on the ground, people who have the skills and knowledge to be able to harness up these animals and still put them to work. And it's something that mustn't be lost in the future, but it's all very well having the people, but you've got to have the animals too. And so this is Victoria, but let me introduce you to Lexi. You're so tall, aren't you? So this is Lexi. And uh, what I'll do is I'll take her out of the field and give her a bit of a brush. Come on then, sweetheart. So the Suffolk should move very well, covering the ground quite smoothly with a smart walk and trot. And they should have a broad forehead, a strong neck, set elegantly on a beautiful strong shoulder and then a lovely deep body. And interestingly, what they say is that the width between the front legs, you should be able to set a bowler hat. And I reckon that's about bang on. I haven't got a bowler hat, so I can't find out. But there we are, I reckon she's pretty perfect. And they come in seven shades of chestnut. Chestnut without the T at the end of the chest. So chestnut. The Suffolk is one of our heavy horses. And so of the heavy horses in the UK, we've got the Suffolk, of course, or sometimes known as a Suffolk punch. We've got the Shire horse. Then we've got the Clydesdale. And then you could include the Highland pony and also the British Percheron. As a breed, they're the oldest British heavy horse. And the first mention of them is in the Camden's Britannica in 1506. So just over 500 years ago, which is quite extraordinary. So they've been around for a very, very long time. And of course, what they were was the working power horse of the Eastern counties. And they would plow the ground, they'd pull the cultivators, they'd tow the hay cart. But then they were also used in the towns and cities as a draft animal. Very, very strong reasonably short in the body and squatter than a shire with real power in that back end. Let me get my brush. And one of the classic things of the Suffolk are its legs. They're very, very strong legs, shorter than a Clydesdale or a shire. And interestingly, in comparison to those two breeds, no feathers. So the long hair on the back of the leg of a shire and a Clydesdale uh, is the feather it's known as, but the Suffolk, because of the heavy clays of the eastern counties, that would all get stuck to that long hair. So they bred a horse with very little feather, so no feather on their leg, so lovely and clean. And Lexi is very well behaved because when I touch her foot, she thinks I want to either trim it or pick the dirt out of it. So touch her foot and she'll lift it up for you. What a good girl. <laughs> She's got her summer coat at the moment, so a thin, shiny, beautiful colour, this chestnut. And uh, as winter draws in, she'll grow a longer hair to keep her nice and warm. 
and we keep our Exmoors and our Suffolks out all winter and give them a bit of extra hay if they require it. They go down to a part of the farm called the Gorse Valley, which is sheltered, but plenty of forage to graze on. And really grooming a horse, you just go with the direction of the hare. Just be careful around the back end because you don't want to get kicked, although she's very quiet. But really, the Suffolk was a, a farm horse. It was a working tool. And although they're shown nowadays, of course, and used for lots of demonstrations and those sorts of things, they were kept pretty rough and ready. And, you know, it could be kept in cattle sheds and treated like cattle, really, and then taken out to work. Not neglected, still loved and looked after, but they don't need all the fussing and pampering that some riding and pet horses get. You can pretty much just stand in the field and get on with it.